Hulk Hogan as as the WWF champion and as being the face of the company? Well, actually, the, the people get fooled by publicity, but Hogan was not a good champion at all. Give you an example. Uh, in 1985, uh, uh, Hogan had just been champion for a year and a half. Vince McMahon asked me to put on the tights to wrestle in, in, in Boston because Boston was less than half a house. In other words, everywhere Hogan went, he would do okay the first time, but then the second, or if he dared to come a third time, he would be dead because he... He, he was not a great uh, performer. He was one of the big steroid users and abusers. Uh, he, he was doing his hair and those that with him that made this, this drastic change to what they did. But Vince McMahon caught on early that he was not a guy that he could put into any arena on a monthly basis like we had done in the past for many years. Uh, he couldn't do that because it did not work. And so he would uh, use it more for merchandising, pay-per-view event, because there was once in the, I forget how often they used to do that, but they did it, you know, periodically. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, appearing, uh, merchandising was big, of course, because it was never existed in my day. And so it was a big thing, and it was a good thing uh, for the wrestlers and that. The pay-per-view event, which we never had, I, I, I would have to say was a good thing as well. But uh, as far as Hogan, no, he, he was not uh, uh, a good for, for a champion like previous people. 